Hey guys, what's up? By Sactitron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and I'm going to be showing two awesome attacks from my last arranged war I was in. Uh, super pumped to have gotten a six star war. Uh, really helped out the clan. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough. Um, the clan lost the war by a very close margin, but I am going to show my two three stars using some very interesting compositions, and I think that. Um, you know, I guess it's an opportunity to kind of brag a little bit, but more importantly, it's going to show you guys two awesome attack strategies that you can use if you're a Town Hall 10. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. Don't want to waste too much time uh, just talking at the beginning here. But this one is the uh, the attack that I made an attack strategy video on a while back, and we never really saw it that much on the channel. I don't think I saw it much in wars in general on either side, but I think that it's underused. People don't use it enough. And if there's an air defense in the core of the base, that is always a good sign for using the, uh, what is this, the hobo, or not, not hobo, uh, it's the Bo Laloon, yeah, the Bo Laloon at Town Hall 10. Uh, whenever you see an air defense in the middle of the base, that's a good sign to use it, because typically you can get three air defenses if you come at the right angle. I went ahead and dropped down the queen because there's no damage right there, let her create the funnel, on the top side, then the golem, the tank, and some bowlers to create the funnel on the 3 o'clock side, then the main group of bowlers. I also funneled the funnel bowlers, so like I funneled my funnel troops, so the bowlers that create the funnel will go inside the base along with the main group. Freeze for the inferno, a heal, which is really important. You want to heal those bowlers up, because unlike in a mass bowler attack, there's no healers, so they don't have that many hit points. You need to heal them up at some point. Uh, here comes the Laloon, I kind of missed that, sorry about that. It happened so fast, but anyway, the balloon's coming in. Just one Lava Hound, but I only need one because I can freeze the Inferno and the Air Defense, uh, plus I have the haste to get in there, get the Inferno, then get that Air Defense, so the balloons converge very quickly. There are some air traps and some air skeletons, but the pups will take those out, and you can see all my ground troops are dead at this point, I think, but I think I, don't, I lost maybe one or two balloons. I probably have about 12, 13 left up, and I deployed one more for cleanup so crush this base i apologize for not being able to zoom out quick enough to see the uh some of the deployment but you guys saw most of it uh pretty much to get in there, getting in there getting the three air defenses the queen the cc troops the inferno then just leaving the one inferno the one air defense and a few uh different buildings uh for my air part of the attack and one other thing i want to add before i start this next attack is that um if there's an, a bonus for that attack, another reason to use it is if you look at the base and you see that there's a bunch of cannons and stuff on one side of the base or ground expos, which are also good. If they put their archer towers on one side of the base, which they were kind of shifted a little bit farther towards where I attacked with my uh, bowler kill squad, if you see that, that's an even better reason to use it because it means there's less archer towers, um, less air coverage on the other side of the base. So that's a bonus. Look for that to... Uh, to do also, especially if you're trying to decide what side of the base to attack on. Uh, sometimes you have a, a, a choice and you want to look for where there's not going to be much air coverage besides the air defense and the inferno and maybe a few uh, archer towers for your uh, Laloon part of the attack. So hope that makes sense. We are going to go ahead and take a look at one final attack, uh, my other attack from this war. And this is a similar opening in a way. I like these little miniature uh, kind of queen, I don't know what you call it, but like dropping the queen down, letting her create a funnel, and just kind of get in there and take out part of the base, so it's kind of like a queen charge, but not really, there's no healers, um, in this case, I'm not using her along with my kill squad, I'm using her separate from my kill squad, uh, she's gonna get in there, because there's literally no damage uh, by the that inferno really and the cc troops which is a lava hound can't reach her either so the one golem and the queen can get in there get the uh, inferno tower taken out uh, for a pretty cheap price just the queen and the golem a few funneling troops get the inferno which is huge i uh, went ahead and came in with some valks the king did walk unfortunately but the eight or nine valks which i did have i uh, went into the base dropped a jump a rage and a heal for them so they got the job done um, maybe invested just a little bit too much because right there the Valks got their job done But there's still a few left over and they're not going to get much more value because they have to beat through a wall So I probably could have brought one or two less Valks or maybe not use the heal or the rage or something And invested a little bit more in my miners So that's one tweak I would make is I'd invest a little bit more in my miners 
uh, because the, the Valks didn't have anywhere to go after they got the initial uh, part of the base taken out. But anyway, I still have enough miners and two, two heal spells. Went ahead and dropped the first on the giant bomb in the Inferno. There goes the second one. Another giant bomb, but they're going to be under heal for it. The Lava Hound is still up, but it won't be much of an issue because nothing can target it, so it won't be uh, it won't be exploding or anything anytime soon. I do have about uh, one wizard, one archer left, so I'll drop those down in just a moment. And uh, my miners are going to kind of peter out a little bit, but there's enough to get the job done. You can see still have about 12 or so uh, making their way outside the base. Go ahead and drop that wizard in. We'll go times two to speed things up. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Hope you like the attacks. Uh, hope these are something for you Town Hall 10s to kind of take notes on, see what the base identification was, what you look for in each base, and uh, being creative with the queen, like in this attack especially, getting in there, getting that Inferno Tower taken out with just a queen and a golem is so huge for your attack. It really helps. Uh, it, it just helps the whatever the plan is, being able to take out an Inferno for that cheap. So yeah, hope you guys liked the video, and uh, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. I'll have a lot more coverage of this war coming out, because I know you guys want to see a war recap, and maybe a fails video, some other stuff as well. So be looking forward to that over the next few days, some of these attacks from this war. Great job to, to Knights Templar, uh, they had a pretty good war, and uh, they were able to get the edge in percentage on us was a tide, but they got, I think, 0.17 percentage uh, above us, which is so small. But yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Sack the Toronto. out.